Hey everybody, it's Let Your Light Shine, Epic's here, OC, Pink Production, production. Steve-O, we're here at the Edwards Cinema in Anaheim Hills, and we are here to see... The Greatest Showman! Alright, we're going to do a review <laughs> afterward. Oh, and I got... And I, got, I can't wait because I know the music's I got great. This fluffy jacket. And I really thought that the trailer for this movie was awesome, so oh, I can only imagine how great this movie's gonna be. And I'll tell you if I still have my jacket because I keep it. Yeah, she left it camp. behind at camp. Isn't that nice? Not this one. Not I'll this one, so we'll see if it stays. Alright, bye. That. Alrighty, look at all the... I thought, you know what, I thought there would be a poster of this movie up here somewhere, but I guess not. So here's a snack bar, but we're not going there today. We're just, we're sneaking in our own waters, because that's how we roll. Okay, guys, so exactly, I'm going to show you guys what not to do, to do during the movie. What's that? Oh yeah, don't talk. Don't be all up on your phone. Like I am going, no, it's okay, I'm not going to be doing that. Um, don't drink a lot of liquid so you have to pee the whole time and not be able to watch your movie. Yeah. What? What's with the Cheetos? Oh, Cheetos popcorn. Wow, okay. All right, come on. We're moving on this way to the left. To the left. We're looking for Theater 4. Ooh. That's creepy. What theater is Theater 4. Ooh, where are you? Theater 6. Ah, we're looking for you. Where are you? For like that much. Where are you? Holy cow, like we're in a labyrinth. Why is it like not in order? There we are. Must be right here. Auditorium 4. Alright, let's go. Yep. Alright, we chose the not the very front. To to that's the very front. The but kind of the, the front. That way, no one's sitting in front of us, although there's really nobody here today in this theater. It's always good. I always go like after a couple weeks when the movie's been out, so it's not so crazy. Oh, it had one of those old ads. I was starting to get creeped out, but no, now it's fine. It's regular ads now. Whew, thank God. Well, and we were watching him before with this creepy clown poking his head out, and I was like, what? I don't want to buy you. No, sorry. I've got, I've got water. And we've got, what else do we have? Slime. Oh no, we've got a rice cake. I actually made the slime. Slime, because everybody needs slime at the movie theater. And grapes. Hand over the grapes. Oh, there are grapes here? Right in your leg, right there. There you go. And... Yep, that's how we roll. I was going to bring strawberries, but... Alright, so obviously I'm not going to uh, record the movie, so... There you go. Alright guys, so the movie's going to start in a few minutes, so we will get back at you. Nice. Hey, that's very distracting. How dare you be on the phone? Oh wait, I'm on the phone. Oops. Alright, we'll be back at you. We're going to go out to dinner and talk about the movie, and so there you go. Bye. Alright, the movie is over. Alright, we are heading out and to dinner. Alright guys, now we're on to dinner and we'll talk about what we thought about the movie. Yeah. Oh yeah. Alright guys, nice hair, <laughs> lovely. We're here at Kino's again doing our restaurant, not really. We're not doing a restaurant review. We're just doing our movie review, review at a restaurant because it seems like this is the place to do our movie review. So, here we go. Kino's it is. What's cool about this place is over there is more like a, I don't know, restaurant, diner. Actually, I'll walk out and show you what I'm talking about. It's so different. It's like, you know, more lit up. And then you go into the lounge and it's, I love the ambiance here. And you can play Kino and you can have a drink at the bar. But we have our kids here, so we are sitting at the old booth section. And now it's time for the review. All right, Steve O. So, what did I you go think? First. Sure. I, I like the movie. I'm really glad that he didn't cheat on his wife. I was kind of bummed about that. I'm like, oh man, he's going to screw up his whole life. And he didn't. So, that was nice. And so, uh, music was good. Um, 
Yeah. Would you I watch really it again? Um, yes, I would actually watch it again. I wouldn't watch it, pay to see it in the theater again, but I would definitely watch it again. Okay, so and, uh, what kind of rating and how I'm many? I'm going to give it nine, what is it? What are five. We do the five We do thing. the five? Yeah. Okay, then I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it five top hats. I really enjoy it. All right, it. awesome. All right, Miss Slime. I know we didn't tell you what the movie was about, so you didn't have any idea what you're getting into. Wait, do you have any silly cool though? That is, it's like a confetti cake batter. So tell me, Sarah, since you didn't know what to expect when you're walking in, what did you think? Okay, so when I first walked in, I was not excited to watch the movie because I thought it would be like just them, like a play or something, and it's just like them singing over and over again. And I just didn't really like that type of thing, but it was a lot different than I expected. I thought, like, I thought it would be that, but now uh -huh. I really like the movie. It's like, really good. Like, All right. It's, like, oh, salads are here. Like, to it, which I like about it because it's not just them. It's not like High School Musical where they're like everything goes right and then. Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah. It's not like a fairy tale the whole entire time. Yeah, it's like something happens and then it's like that. So what do you give rating and what is the rating? Okay, so I'm going to give ratings of... Slime. Okay, how many? Probably about five slimes. Awesome. So you would definitely see it again. Out of five. Because... Um... I would see it again, but like, but like not during like, like I, I, there's movies that I want to watch more, I really like the graphics of it, it's just not like, it's just not really my type of style, but like I really like the movie. It's just right. not one of my top movies I would just want to watch over and over again, like okay. with a lot of movies I always Gotcha. All right, now it's on to us. Oh yeah, hello. Hi. <laughs> you want me to give my rating first? Yes. You? All right, I rate it five bearded ladies. <laughs> okay, so now my thoughts were, I was told, oh, there's a great song in this movie. It's called This Is Me, and uh, Epic Hero OC would really like it. So I'm like, all right, whatever. And so I, I YouTubed it, and it was a really cool song. And I'm like, this, whatever this movie's about, it looks like a really good movie, because I had no idea. And so I looked up the trailer, and I'm like, oh, wow, it's about the circus. That's really cool. It's like, I had no idea. And I always enjoyed, and unfortunately, the freak show is no longer there at, at Venice Beach, but I really enjoyed that show and, and talking to those people and what they have to go through. And I think it's cool that someone helps them out and gives them a job and... You know, because most people are ashamed. So, I just like the the whole. I don't know what the movie's about. Um, the part that made me sad is when This Is Me actually showed up in the movie. It was triggered differently than I thought. I thought they were singing that song because they were, um, you know, expressing themselves around all these people, which they were. But what triggered it made me sad that it was the main ringmaster guy that was shutting him down at the moment and she started singing that song. I didn't like that, but but it ended up a good ending, so that's fine by me. So definitely would love to see this again. And every guys, song in that movie was awesome. I mean, every song. So definitely would love to get the soundtrack and I definitely would love to watch it over and over again even at home on Netflix on our Bose stereo nice and loud because that's how I roll. So there you go. <laughs> All right, what do you want okay, so, before we get to Lauren? Um, it's kind of too late for this, but if you guys haven't seen British Showman, you might want to go watch the movie before, before you watch our review. Watch I'm sure they have. It's been out for a while now. So, all right, okay. back to Lauren. Okay, back to Lauren. Before we get to Lauren, look at that. Caesar salad, regular dinner salad, and strawberries. And I don't know what our waiter's name is, but he's awesome. We always have him every time we come here. And he's always cool. All right, Lauren, your turn. You ready? Be between eating? One second, I need to finish. Okay. I'll pause. For a drink. Drinking intermission. <laughs> drink intermission over. Okay. Okay, you ready? Yes. All right. 
Okay, I loved it. <laughs> awesome. And and you, oh, you got something on your chin too. But you're kind of a picky with movies. So I just remember the emoji movie, that look you had the whole entire time of disgust. <laughs> so that was entertaining, but good. Okay, so carry on. Okay, I loved this movie. <laughs> Seriously, it was like so amazing. I loved the soundtrack. The soundtrack was phenomenal. Like every single lyric, you could feel the impact. It was great. Every single moment had had a meaning and an and impact to, to the viewer. It was just wow. And uh, I really liked the message of it. I really, really liked the message of it. Like, Really great. Yeah, the, the word, I, mean, I don't listen to the lyrics to music like Steve O was making fun of me, going, What? You're listening to the lyrics? But the, if you look up This Is Me on YouTube, it actually shows it like a karaoke, so you have to read it anyway. And the words were so awesome. And it really hits home for anybody who ever feels out of place. All right, so what would your rating be? And. 10 out of 5. 10 out, whoa. And what? what is it? 10 out of 5, what? Coffee? Oh, All right. And would you watch this again in the theater over and over and yes. over again? Awesome. All right. All right. Our dinner has arrived. I have the Southwest Chicken Caesar because it sounded good. And Lauren has the tri tip. Ooh. Ooh, asparagus. So and French fries. Fried everything okay? Chicken. Yeah. Looks really good. Look at that. Great. Kino's famous fried chicken, and then Sarah's got, oh, she's even got more fruit. Chicken strips and fruit. Awesome. You can Can't eat wait the, to uh, eat it. everything. If you don't want the rest of them, just pass it over. <laughs> All right? Oh, yeah, there's more strawberries on there. Yeah. Yay, we're going to eat now. All right, guys, so we are done with the review and eating dinner. And uh, by the way, Kino's is very really delicious. Really cold right now. Joe the it's waiter. Okay. We always have him. He's awesome, and he's sarcastic. So, so sometimes I have to question, where am I going? Um, what? Anywho, where thanks for, I don't know. We have to like, oh, my God, I'm like, my butt's against this, like, car. Oh, that's not good. Well, I mean. <laughs> I'm washing now my butt's dirty. Hey, don't worry. <laughs> yeah, we could have. Hey, don't forget to like, guess. share, and subscribe. Mine. And uh, if you've watched that movie, The Greatest Showman, tell us what you thought of it. Because I can't imagine anyone not yeah, liking that movie. Yeah, tell us in the comments movie. below, but if you don't, that's totally fine. Because, like, you know. It was bad. The Greatest Show. All right. Bye, guys. Wait, the movie. Bye. What? Wait, what? Huh? Wait, wait, what? wait, what? wait, what? wait, what? wait, what? wait, <laughs> wait, are we doing reviews? No, we already finished reviews. No, no, no we didn't. Yes, you did. <laughs> no, we did. What? Wait. All right, we're out. Bye. Bye. Bye.